So like two or three days ago, I started trying to actively make sure that I'm getting more protein in. So we're just kind of doing a little bit of a what I eat in a day. There's nothing too exciting about what I ate this morning, you know? This morning I had a little coffee that I made with my new espresso grinder. <laughs> Love her so much. So I made myself a nice little latte. I had that with like 2% milk, you know? Good amount of protein in there. How much is it actually? So I had about one cup of 2% milk in my latte and that's eight grams of protein. So already off to a pretty decent start there, you know? And you get a little coffee fix and I love that so much. So then when I got to work, I mixed up my Caribbean punch protein in some ice water. And that's just a really nice little little treat, little protein treat to start my day off. And when I first tasted the Caribbean punch, I didn't like it that much, but it's grown on me and I really enjoy it. So that was another 20 grams of protein. Where's my phone? And then at work, I had um, an apple. I had two string cheeses. So it's 13.5 grams of protein there. And then I had an Oikos Pro banana flavored yogurt, which is another 20 grams of protein. And then I ended up at Target somehow after work. Like it was one of those moments where you're just driving and you end up somewhere and you're like, what the hell? You're like, how did I not just like die in an accident? Cause clearly there was a disconnect in the brain somewhere. Like I didn't need to go to Target. I had no need to go to Target, but I ended up there. And I was like, I guess we'll go in. And I got this sweater. It's so cute and cozy with a little heart. And then I got these sweatpants. Um, they don't look the nicest, but they are very soft material and like a decent thickness. So I'm enjoying them and they felt real nice doing yoga in them. So that was fun. And I also got myself this cute little stoneware mug because I'm mug obsessed, you know? And I liked how wide and flat it was so that I can make fun little like espresso latte art in this cup pretty easily, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm still not good at it. I'm still practicing. I'm still learning. The steam wand on my machine absolutely sucks. So I'm going to upgrade it and that'll be interesting in and of itself. But anyway, while I was at Target, I just got one of those little like protein pack snack thingies. It had like almonds and cheese and turkey in it. Um, love those. They're so salty, so delicious. And that itself had 11 grams of protein, which puts us so far at 72 grams of protein already. And I haven't even had lunch and dinner. And you know what? That's awesome. I'm so proud of myself for like doing that. If I am not intentionally trying to eat protein, <laughs> I'll probably eat like 20 grams a day. And like, that is not enough for a full grown adult with a relatively active job, you know? Like that's just, that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just, just the yoga that's making me feel so much better already or if it's the yoga and the past couple days of like really focusing on my protein. Maybe it's one, maybe it's the other, maybe it's both together, but I feel really good today. I don't wanna jinx anything, could just be hormones, who knows. We're on our way. And I'm ready for like a lunch snack. I don't want like a full on meal. So when I was at Target today, I saw these. Ranch tuna, ranch flavored tuna. I don't know why I picked this up because most of the time I don't really like these like prepackaged tuna things, but for some reason, ranch caught my eye. I'm not even a ranch girl. Like I'm not the kind of person who like goes crazy over ranch dressing. You know what I mean? Like I don't dip things in it. I, we don't even have it in our house. Like, so we're not a ranch family. We're a blue cheese family mostly or a Caesar family. But for some reason I was like ranch tuna. Okay. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't had in a long time tuna and crackers. Anyway, so we're gonna have a couple of these, not really any protein in these, but they're just a good vehicle for our protein for a snack for lunch, which will be 15 grams for this pouch. Look at me go. We are rocking and rolling. We are crushing this. We are getting all of the protein in and I'm so excited. And then later for dinner, I have some frozen chicken breasts. They're thawing a little bit and I'm gonna poach them. And so I'm gonna poach those bad boys and I wanna, I bought this like pesto Caesar salad, just like a little prepackaged one because I've really been craving a Caesar salad. And I really want to like nail down my own personal Caesar dressing recipe, but we're not there yet. And I was like, I want a Caesar salad so bad. So I just bought a little prepackaged one that I know that I really like, just a pesto Caesar salad. 
So I'm thinking dinner is going to be pretty good in terms of protein as well. Good job, self. And you know, all it takes is me just not constantly eating bread products all day long. Oh, I forgot to log my cookie I had. I did have a cookie today. You know, I never really know how to log things that we've made like at work. Like we tried out a new chocolate chip cookie recipe just to test it and see how it was gonna be, if it was any different, if the extra work in it was gonna be worth the effort. But like, turns out ours are already better than what we tried. But like, I don't really know how to, how to log that kind of thing. So I just, I just guess. So let's have some tuna creations. Oh! How do I eat this? What do I do? Do I like put it in a bowl and then just like dunk? Like, we went ahead and rustled up some tangy buttermilk, garlic, choice herbs, and premium tuna and lassoed them together for one mighty tasty protein packed pouch. So go ahead and give a giddy up to your lunch. <laughs> Whether you're on horseback or in back to back meetings, just tear, eat, and go. So, okay. We're gonna have some crackers and tuna. What's the serving of these? Five crackers? Bullshit. We're having double. We're doing two. I'm gonna have at least 10 crackers for this entire pouch of tuna. Get real. I wonder who comes up with serving sizes. And let's just open up our little tuna pouch here. Is it gonna like juice at me? Open, you turd. Oh. Hmm. Actually kind of tasty. How do I get this out of here? Oh, that looks so gross. You know, I probably could have just eaten a can of tuna and then just made it the way that I like it. And it would have been A, more food. B, I would have known that I was gonna like it. And then C, I don't know what C is. I really like relish in my tuna. Do I relish? I'd add some. All right, so we're gonna add some, maybe I should just taste it on its own first, right? Let's do that. No, yeah, tastes good but I'm a relish girl. Give me some sweet relish. And normally we do sriracha. However, we all know there's a sriracha shortage. So regular boring little hot sauce will do. I was kind of sad today because I, we're trying out a new bread recipe for, we do like a special bread usually every day of the week. And we're trying to figure out a new one to start doing. And I did like a test batch and they didn't really turn out the way that I was expecting them to. And I was really sad because I was just like 10 wasted loaves of like bread. Like they were edible, but we didn't want to sell them, you know, because they're not what we want them to be. They were a little underdeveloped in terms of gluten. So they had a little air bubble on top. The crumb was really tight. And they were really salty and they were supposed to be sweet. So I don't know what happened there. I, maybe I messed something up, but the ratios seemed fine in the recipe, but I was just like sad, you know, because I like to make things that are good and not things that are bad. And then when those all turned out horribly, I was like, well, that's upsetting. <sighs> but I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna make a tiny batch of just two lobes and we'll redo it and we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be better. We want them to be a little sweeter, more cardamom in the bread. We'll see. Cheers. God, I love these crackers so much. So in yesterday's endeavors to try and get more protein in, I was at the grocery store and I was like, you know what? I haven't had steak in a long time. And if you know, you know, meat kind of weirds me out most of the time. So the fact that I was like, I could go for a steak. I was like, let's take advantage of this, up this moment right now. Let's take advantage of this. Let's buy a steak, cook that bad boy up the way I like it and we'll eat it. And I was like, all right, cool, let's do this. So I did it. And then I was eating it and the halfway through I got weirded out and I had to stop eating it. So most of it just went to Grant, but I tried. And now there's another steak in the fridge that I will probably just make for him. Like I just, it's just has to be such a specific way for me to not get weirded out by it. As soon as there is like an, any hint of like a fatty spot in the texture, get it out of my mouth. I can't, I can no longer continue eating this steak. The moment that it is no longer hot, I cannot eat it anymore. Like it's just, it's too, it's too much, you know? It's too fussy, so why would I even bother when I have tuna, which is a delicious protein source as well? And it doesn't freak me out. Bless you, sweet, sweet fish. You're delicious, I love you. Okay, apparently I've been rambling for 18 minutes now, so we're gonna end this clip here and I'll be back for dinner time when we make our poached chicken Caesar salad. 
It's a chicken salad. It's the chicken salad. Do you guys remember that meme? A chicken salad. Am I doing it right? Chicken salad. 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 I'm probably doing that wrong. See you later. My poached chicken is done. Maybe it's a little overdone. Now I just have to let it cool down. We can shred it and make a salad. But in the meantime, I'm gonna play around with my espresso grinder. I can't drink the espresso that I'm playing with right now, but it's fun. So it's ready for the morning, you know? Fine. This is so bad. We need more coarse grinds. Oh, battery's dead. Mm. Mm. So in the water with the chicken while it was poaching, I threw in like a little cube of just like chicken bouillon and some MSG. Like, isn't chicken just so weird? Like, why do we eat this? Who said, look at that bird over there. I'm gonna eat it. The best part though about shredding chicken with your hands is that you can feel if there's weird bits and you can pull those weird bits out. So I know there's a much lower chance of me getting a weird bit in my chicken when I have shredded it myself, as opposed to like buying that pre-shredded chicken. You can buy like rotisserie chicken pre-shredded in the grocery store. I don't know what kind of weird bits they're putting in there and I don't want those weird bits. Get those weird bits out of my head. Get them out of my face. I don't want them, I don't want to pay for them. I have a feeling I will be sharing some of this chicken with Grant because I'm probably gonna get weirded out by it. And some more weird bits. There we go. All right, all done. Go on, get. Here's, here's your salad that I'm gonna be eating. The whole bag itself is 440 calories and has 11 grams of protein pre-chicken. Look at that. We're already getting the protein in. Gonna eat the whole bag, cause that sounds like a delicious dinner to me right now. Just do minus 113. Perfect. There we are. Let's mix. Chicken Caesar salad sando, but I forgot the bacon. That's kind of upsetting. Mm. We had 113 grams, which is another 34 grams of protein. And that brings us, my dudes, to a total of 124 grams of protein today, which is probably more than my poor body has seen in months. And it's delicious. Everything I ate today was so good. And now I think I have earned sitting down on the couch and watching YouTube for a little bit. So. That's what I'm gonna go do.